Hey guys, this is Rookie Duty here to play and commentate. So it's been six months for Jake and a bit of a while for me to record this. But let's get started. I'm having a bit of mic problems, so my mic's gonna cut out for a bit. It'll resume in a couple of minutes. Okay. So let's watch this awesome cutscene of these Japanese uh, luchador businessmen and go uh, fuck shit up. Hey. It's a man. Oh, easy, Lo Yao. Huh? I see how hung lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a weapon to kill assholes like you. What the heck was this? Is that my mic? Yeah, I just looked at a plug that was unplugged. I hope that it screwed up. Didn't change the decibel ratings. Nurse? <laughs> Someone thought this was a porno. I'm joking. Jeez, calm down. Stop fapping, guys. Parents ask what fapping is. Demonstrate. Sweet. Okay. Um. So, oh, wow. They got. They got uh, me that game. Um. Is it dead or alive or dead and alive? Uh. That About game. Shitty prison uh, It's been a real slice of. That game is solely fan, uh, fan service. Now fan service means. It's a. It's. It just gives reason for the guys to, to touch themselves. Like. Did you not see that her? She had. Like, the, they had the game mechanics of. Oh, nice achievement. What is this? Oh, Toto Gukai or whatever? I have no idea what that is. I knew she was here. But yeah, like, um... I'm gonna be very blunt with you guys. Blunt! <laughs> um, her chestnesses, or her boobies, they jiggled at a very specific uh, decibel balanceage. It's almost reflective to the game mechanics of Dead or Alive. And if anyone's played that game, which... Come on, guys, honestly, you could all play that game for a bit of a fap. Nice, that was. Oh, damn it, I got hit again. Uh, but with that game, it's like they spent all their time with game mechanics and just put it into boob mechanics. To how they jiggle, they balance, how they squish, how they. Yeah. If you guys haven't played that game, I'm assuming right now you're going to go download it on uh, Xbox Live or uh, PSN. It should be free. Well, on Xbox Live, demos are free. I don't know about uh, PSN yet. Still haven't done my poker tournament. Uh, since again, on January 30th, the end of this month, I'm in a poker tournament with my college. Now, this is not for a cash prize because it's done by the college, so they don't have the liquor and gaming license, but they can offer as first prize a PlayStation 3. 
So if, and due to the fact my nice uh, gambling persona, I should win. I should be in keyboard. I get impatient and I go all in and do on stupid hands like two of a kind, but then someone has three of a kind and they fuck me over. But still. If I win, you guys will be seeing PlayStation 3 games from, uh, from, uh, for the future. You will be seeing the traditional Xbox game. Yes, of course. I'll be doing the PlayStation 3 games for games I that aren't my like, sort of favorites. I don't know. Or it just exclusives. What, what the heck? Come on, jump down. What the hell? It's weird. It's almost like that was a terrible like game design mechanic. Like Dishonored does those little vents better. Okay, what the hell is this? Ah, oh, fuck. Was I supposed to remember something? Um. Um, random code, push buttons. It's like a puzzle. Yeah, just, just uh, that. No go. I huh? thought it would work. It didn't. Okay, um. Okay, should we try again? I freaking hate the A button. It should be to select, not to go back. Oh, for shit's sake, I'm in a hurry here. Well, let's just go check everything else. Okay, what's this? Oh, my camera. Shoot. Look at this fire. What? I hope the U.S. Uh, government doesn't have this going on. Because I will never walk down a narrow hallway again. Okay, um... Progression? Anywhere? What? What? Hey! This looks like Splinter Cell. Or is it Splinter Cell? Or oh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, what the hell? What? 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 Oh, cool! Look at that. Nice. Didn't just randomly looked at that and got it. Okay. Uh. Yeah. See, it's like Metal Gear Solid. Would they hide in the locker and then they hop out of the locker? And what? What is she doing? I'm randomly shooting to wait. Yeah, because that room didn't allow me to have a gun. But this room does! Why do they have a camera in a locker room? Uh, some more Japanese fap. You know we're in China in the game. But this game is done by Capcom in Japan. Yeah, guys, if you guys don't already know, since you might be culturally ignorant... Nah, you probably not. Japanese culture cor correspond to sex is somewhat perplexing to the Western perception of sex. Now, this is not, oh, oh, uh, sex positions. No, no. This is what they do. If anyone is, most of you probably heard of Hinta, it's Japanese animation porn. Yeah, that, that's one of the characteristics that makes it different. Okay, so what, did she not hit the code for me? Like, seriously? Seriously? But, just look it up, guys. <laughs> um, I don't want to dis display this uh, profound knowledge on pornography. But, ju but just again, Japanese culture... Oh, look, there's the code. Japanese culture... <laughs> really like sex. Like, they do some weird things for that sex. Okay, now what was it? Wasn't it Star? Oh shoot, what was it? Oh, there we go. Nice. But yeah, that's all I'm going to spread in there, because just thinking about that. Because we're going to see some more fan service if we were Sherry. Because Sherry's got the game mechanic cleavage. And Jake wants to crawl there, so let's get going. It seems a bit weird that they built these corridors to different locker rooms. I'm not I'm not even gonna answer that. I'm just not. Jake! All sweaty and like <clears throat> uh. She's modest about that? She should see like the girls I see on a weekend basis at the bar. 
Where are she we? She dresses way more conservative than they Sorry. do. Obviously, but where? Why? Don't know, don't care. Oh, sexy fap time for Jake. There's no I'm done being their guinea pig. What did they do to you? <laughs> Plenty. They said something about using my antibody to enhance the C virus. Oh no. What else did they say? You know anything about um, Albert Wesker? Why do they have female clothes? But no what? female workers. Take that as a yes. You talked about him. A lot. I guess he had an antibody that could fight off any virus. Apparently, he abused his gift. Took it for granted. And then ended up turning himself into some kind Accessorize! of monster. Accessorize! You know, I thought Daryl Dad was just a deadbeat who skipped out on us. No, no, no. He was actually... A freaking nut job who almost destroyed the world. Your father's actions have nothing to do with you. Yeah, but his blood does. It's the whole reason why we're even here. I mean, come on. You really think that crazy doesn't run in the family? Someone must have skipped out of our biology class because crazy does not go genetically you through blood. People should know that's true. Mentally, yes. The man that I am. Things that I've done. But Albert Wesker was a genetic experiment to himself. A little bit more Spoiler! What? You can blame your father all you want. But at some point, you have to take responsibility for your own actions. Jeez, that was a bit of a cold-hearted bitch move. But see you guys around. Stop fat. Like, favorite, and subscribe.